He was nice, bright, you know, funny guy. He was a character. He was athletic. And, you know, he just loved just smiling, laughing, have fun. He played football, basketball, and ran track. What were his dreams? Football, play football for Gators. A high school student is found in a rolled up gym mat, dead by classmates. It's ruled an accident, but was it? That's our bold question for our jury. Was the high school gym mat death a murder? Welcome to the HLNTV.com evidence room. I'm here with Joseph Scott Morgan, former death investigator. And uh, all the evidence that you're going to see now, you can see on our website, HLNTV.com slash after dark, if you want to take a closer look. But let's take a look at some of these photos. Let's first give everyone a perspective, and our jury has all these photos as well. Uh, a perspective of the gymnasium itself as you see this whole area uh, and you can see the gym mats rolled up it's a blue gym mat that's back there that is the one that is actually in question we'll take a closer look right here and you can see this is the blue gym mat where in fact uh, Kendrick Johnson was found now we'll take an even, for even closer look so you can see what folks found and let me start here Joseph Scott Morgan with this picture they say the gym mat was inverted, so it was perpendicular to the ground, right? It's right. vertically, right. Uh, is the way he's found. This, his sneakers are there. He's like this. He dies. Does that make any sense to you? N no, it really doesn't, Vin. And then we begin to talk about these things like positional asphyxia that they're bringing in. It's not uncommon to find people in tight spaces that essentially can no longer breathe because they're compromised as a result of being in, in this particular position. But for a young man that's rather strong to be in a mat like this that's made out of foam, essentially, to be inverted and not be able to tip the thing back over. And what's really strange is that his shoes are off of his feet and they're immediately adjacent, adjacent to yeah, the I back side of his I want to show folks the shoes yeah. because there's a video a clip that we grabbed right here. Yeah. And if you look down here, you can see that he's wearing these white right shoes yep. into the gym. Yep. This is a surveillance video. We took uh, a screen grab of that video. So you can see he's wearing white sneakers in there. Now, the allegation is, is that the entire thing is all about these sneakers, that these sneakers were at the bottom of that gym mat and he was climbing in trying to retrieve them because that's where he kept these sneakers. Yes. Does that make sense to you, the, the fact that the blood is found here at the bottom on these shoes? Well, let me explain to you what can happen if you're in an inverted position and you're looking at positional asphyxia. It is possible for you to generate blood out of the small vessels in your nose and in your mouth. This is a copious amount of blood, a lot of blood that has, that has come about. And he's also got a, a very swollen area on the side of his head with underlying trauma. And this is what's so disturbing about this. And my question is, I think these mats are not terribly heavy. Why not just turn the mat on its side and get to the shoe that way as opposed to climbing down in the thing? Yeah, that's what would make sense. And take a closer look at that shoe. There is a second shoe that matches that one that was found uh, in front of these mats, remember this mat is over here where Kendrick right. is. This one is found here. We'll take a closer look at that shoe, and you can see it matches the other one, but obviously yep. this one not covered with blood. Right. We've got some more photos to show everyone. And by the way, these, these shoes I found were the ones that he wore to play basketball because we've got his basketball position uh, picture here. 